get ready for Host at Home, Adam's Archives. From the world of music, I'm Lou Rawls. From Step by Step, I'm Angela Watson. From Family Double Dare, I'm Mark Summers. From the world of modeling, I'm Jill Goodacre. From Three's Company, I'm Richard Klein, here to play the game that's the star of every party, Scattergories. And here's the guy that keeps us all in line, Dick Clark. Hi, thank you. It's Scattergories, the game everybody's playing, and you met the stars. The players are here, and our championship women's team is counting $5,300 penny by penny. Hoping to add some more to it. Rob and Donnie, would you please once again introduce your teammates? Yes, and today is my birthday. Hey, happy birthday! Next to me is Celeste, and she's picked up an accent from every place that she's lived. Uh, next to Celeste is Paula, and she visited the uh, Arctic Circle during a heat wave. Yeah. And we have Tracy, who works as a fragrance rotator. All righty. Thank you very much, ladies. It's nice to have you back again, counting your winnings. Say hello to the challengers. These men are geared up and ready to go, headed by Rich Gamel, who's the captain of the team. Rich, who have you got with you? Hi, my name's Rich. I'm from Fargo, North Dakota, and I'm an engineering student at Harvey Mudd College in Claremont, California. On my right is Barry J. Williams. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio, and he doesn't want to be confused with Greg Brady. Uh, to his right is Alan Worthy. He's from Atlanta, Georgia, and he's a counselor. And on the end, our ringer is Jason Kane from Los Angeles, California, and he says he wants a job just like Charlie Tuna. There you go. Charlie, uh, is that all right with you, Charlie? End of the week. End of the week, all right. <laughs> Okay, gang, you know how this thing plays. We'll play a couple of rounds, see where the most points wins $500. We have a $5,000 jackpot this time. You'll have 15 seconds to fill up your card with six words, a couple of rules. No player can answer twice in a row. And you can't use a word as an answer or part of an answer more than twice. And let's see, it is the men's turn since they are the visitors and just arriving upon the scene. Rich and gentlemen, this is a person <coughs> you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint. A person you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint, beginning with the letter P. Go. Jason. Priest. Uh, Barry. Preacher. Alan. Practitioner. Rich. Your professor. Jason. Pastor. Uh, Alan. Podiatrist. Uh, yeah, a podiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, just checking out the feet, you know. Uh, it's a, <laughs> from the waist up. Part of his research, man. He's got to see those feet. Person you'd surpri be surprised to see at a strip joint, they've said priest, preacher, practitioner, pastor, podiatrist, and professor. Uh, ladies, do you have any difficulty with any of those answers? Do you want to do podiatrist? Yeah. Let's do you? Mm -hmm. There's no reason. Why would you be surprised? Why would you be surprised? All right. Okay. I agree. Why would you be surprised? Yeah. Other than the We're fact you might be have seen him in it the office that afternoon and say, hey, Doc, how are you? Uh, so I'm standing there in the hey, 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 hey. The man's ooh, interested ooh. in feet, ooh, not ooh. strippers. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> how, did, how did I lose this oh. to these people? All of a sudden, they've taken over the kingdom. Uh, it's six to nothing, gentlemen. We go to the celebrity board, and Rich, it's your choice. Oh, wait. We're challenging it. Sure. Oh, no. I thought you agreed you weren't. No. Did we agree? No, we oh, agreed too much, that we were going too to. Much yak -yak. Well, yeah, well, which one? Too much yakety-yak. Which one? We agreed that we were going diatrist. to. Oh, you're going to lose. Not in the realm. Oh. All right. I'm just trying to save you from yourselves. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm frankly <laughs> flabbergasted. Oh, oh. I'd be shocked to see my potatoes. Uh, jury, a person you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint, and these silly women have said you wouldn't see a podiatrist there. They're normal, human, everyday, interested men who would go to a strip joint. Yes or no? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Gave it, gave it our all. Rich, to the celebrity board, which one would you like? Uh, I'll go with Richard because of his name. All uh, right, Richard Klein. Uh, you will describe uh, with the letter P somebody you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint. Now, I know that kids are growing up very fast today. They have computers and all that, and um, they're very sharp. But I would really seriously doubt if I walked into a strip joint and saw a preschooler. <laughs> Preschool. <laughs> uh, that would be a, indeed a surprise. Barry? Uh, I think I'll go with Mark. He looks like he has something fairly interesting to He's say. He's studying the ceiling as we speak right here. This is a very, very talented guy. It is, uh, 
the Double Dare show. Mark, who, who would you be surprised to see in a strip joint? Well, a strip show. Wouldn't see me there. You know who else you wouldn't see? The Pope. Yeah, all right. That would be more than a surprise, I guess. That, that'd be headline making. You never Alan. know. I'm sorry? I, I, who is it my you? turn? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I, uh, okay. Well, let's try it again. Alan, <laughs> who, th this is what's called in television land a cue. I point to you, you speak, you say a name, okay, I respond. Okay. Here we go, five, four, three, two, Alan, and who would you like to go with? <laughs> and I'm on. I'm going with Lou Rawls. He's the oh, first guy I ever saw at the Hollywood Bowl, so. Great singer. Lou, who's a person you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint? Someone that I would be surprised to see at a strip joint? I don't know if it would be a surprise or not, but a preacher? Preacher, indeed, was on the list. I'm sorry, guys. That takes you down to six points. Jason? Well, I've got a lovely choice, huh? Um, you do, indeed. I think I'll take Angela. Angela Watson from Step by Step. Who would you not see at a strip joint or be surprised to see there? A person I would be surprised to see at a strip joint is a priest. Yep. I think those are, those are answers a lot of us would have come up with. It's five points up on the board for the men. It's not a world beater, nor is it to be uh, sneezed at either. You got your work cut out for you, and we'll see what happens with the women right after this word. With trusting eyes, the children show Minds open, hearts true Our spirits grow The touch from allergies, you desperately want the relief a doctor can give you. The powerful relief you get from Tavist One. And now Tavist One is available without a prescription. Just one milligram of its potent antihistamine relieves your worst allergy symptoms for 12 straight hours. Tavist One and Tavist D. One tablet, 12 hours, and now no prescription. My name is Lisa Mickelson and I work for MCI. I'm Wilma Knox. I'm Jonathan Shaw. If you're thinking about joining MCI and friends and family, this is the month to do it. If you join this month, we'll give you a whole month. Long distance calls. Free. Absolutely free. You can call as many times as you want. Talk as long as you want. Free. Free. The basic word here is free. It's up to $35 worth of free long distance. And at our low friends and family rate, that's a lot of calls. If you've been thinking about joining MCI and friends and family, you've picked a great month. MCI and friends and family. There's never been a better time to join. So, what brings you to closet? I am looking to cook pickles. I'm a pickle cook. Pickles are what I cook. Uh, Gherkins, griquettes, dill, spears, chunks, chips. You name it, I'll cook it. You don't cook our closet pickles. You're kidding. I never kid. <laughs> what about shelf life? What about shelf life? Most pickles sit on a shelf. You sit on a shelf. You've got to be cooked. I'm your guy. I'm a pickle cook. What about taste? What about taste? Ah, we're just kind of picky about taste. <laughs> Unlike most pickles, Claus and pickles are never cooked. They're always cold, always crisp, always delicious. Don't cook your pickles. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> And now, back to a host who's always a step ahead of the rest, Dick Clark. There you go from the step-by-step -step woman herself. Thank you, Angela, very much. Ladies, the score is five to nothing. It's your turn to go uh, to the board with the same category, different letter. This is a person you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint, beginning with the letter S. Celeste. Sister. Robin. Spouse. Paula. Sister-in-law. Anybody else? Celeste. School teacher. Another one? Robin. Sorority girl. One more. Tracy. Sally Field. <laughs> Even Hello. she doesn't believe that answer. <laughs> Gentlemen, let me read the list and let us see if there'll be a challenge. A uh, person you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint. Sister, spouse, sister-in-law, school teacher, Sally Field, sorority girl. Uh, is sister and sister-in-law, those are different, right? Okay. Gentlemen, do you want to challenge any of those uh, suggestions? I'll give you a moment. I think no, time's no, up no, now. No, no. Uh, Rich is captain of the team. What do you say? I think we'll challenge a school teacher. Why would you be surprised to see a school teacher? Yeah, if you're not going to be surprised with us. You might not want to see a school teacher there, but... 
This is why you folks are on deck. You have to make this weighty decision <laughs> we're talking about. Uh, somebody you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint, and uh, the word school teacher is on the list, and it's been challenged. Will you accept school teacher, yes or no? Yes, yes you will. All right. Are you going to press your luck any further? Yeah. <laughs> How about Sally? You're not going to be surprised about Sally? I, I, think, I think I'd be surprised if I saw Sally Field. <laughs> You'd be surprised to see if you saw Sally Field in the Denny's restaurant. And said, wow! Is it gonna, are you gonna buy off? Go for it, guys. Go for it if you want. Leap out. No, no, I think yeah, we'll, we'll back up. Oh, I think, I think you're, you're safe. Just, just, for, just for the heck just of it. Just for the sake of it. Just for the heck of it. If they had challenged Sally Field, would you have let them get by with it? Yes or no? Would Sally Field be all right? Oh, cool. This. Unanimous. All right. Okay, uh, it's your turn, Robin. Where would you like to go? Um, I think that I'm going to stick with Mark. Okay, Mark. Person you'd be surprised to see at a strip joint is? Who do I never want to see at a strip joint? My son. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. That was a surprise. Yeah. Celeste? I'm going to go with Lou Rawls. Lou? Oh. That's Who? right. Who don't you want to see at a, at a strip joint? Uh, who'd you be surprised to see? You know who would be surprised to see in a strip joint? Mm. My spouse. Oh, there you go. Oh, Sorry, girls. Paula? I will go with Richard. Richard. He's got his eyes sort of cast downward, thinking deeply about this. Who are you going to see there? I think I would be really shocked if I walked in, if I would ever, you know, sure. walk into a strip joint and see my sister. All right. Look at what is happening here. It is now six to five. Who's on deck, Paula? Or uh, who's it? Tracy, I beg your pardon. I'm gonna go with Jill. All right, Jill, here we go. This is uh, Jill Goodacre Hold of... Uh, for me. Modeling fame. You think she's ever been in a strip joint? Mm. Perry is, is she there? She Let's see what she there. says. If I was at a strip joint, I think I'd be surprised to see a senator. All right. The score stands at seven to five. The women have picked up a couple of points. They're ahead. Not by all that much, because in the next round, you know what happens. We raise the ante. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Jill, what is Victoria's Secret? Who cares about Victoria's Secret? I want to know Dick Clark's secret. How does he stay so young? Ordinary light can rob your milk of essential vitamins and good taste. Within just 24 hours, light can destroy a significant amount of the riboflavin in low-fat milk and steal even more of the added vitamin A. But paper cartons block out harmful light and protect your milk. And recycling of cartons is growing. Paper cartons block light out, keep vitamins in. Obviously, giving up showers is not an option. But I'll do whatever it takes to keep my skin's moisture from going down the drain. New Oil of Olay Bath Bar is very different. Of course, it's got light Olay moisture like young skin. But get this. Unlike soap, it actually helps hold moisture in. So my skin feels soft smooth, wonderfully young. Suddenly, showers have a whole new meaning. Hold on to young skin with new Oil of Olay bath bar. And the price? Very nice. In a city where outstanding restaurants come and go, the sign of the dove has stood the test of time. So when Folgers wanted me to switch their crystals for our coffee, I put both our reputations on the line. It's delicious. It's rich. This is Folgers. I'm impressed. This is terrific. Looks like both reputations are as good as ever. Can I have more? Maybe better. Folgers Crystals. Coffee rich enough to be served in America's finest restaurants. Yes, I'm off the hook. Huh? Not enough stuff to do these dishes. Not so fast. You just need a spoonful with joy. <laughs> All these greasy dishes with one spoonful of joy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't buy it. Well, I do. Using so little saves us money. Compare a spoonful of lemon joy to many leading brands. They quit leaving all these dirty dishes. But joy cleans the whole sink full. Spoonful worked. Joy saves us. Uh, but not from drying the dishes? Just a spoonful of lemon joy cleans more to save you more. 
He risked his life to save her. We've got a problem. Sean Black is in Salem. A woman he thought was a stranger. It was like she had recognized my name from somewhere. But she knows all about him. John Black doesn't deserve to be alive. Who is she? Why does she want him dead? Days of our lives, it's getting good. Thursday is the greatest night on television with the season finale of Seinfeld at a special time, followed by Cheers' two-hour final farewell. Don't miss a minute. And now back to a close personal friend of mine, Nick Clark. <laughs> Dick, 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 Dick. All right, Richard. Back we go with round number two. Everything worth two points this time. Good luck to the men you are behind. Uh, the subject this time is things you associate with a reunion. Things you associate with a reunion, beginning with the letter H. Go. Barry. Hello. Rich. Huckleberry Pie. Yes, sir. Hollowness. Anything else? Jason. Hop. Rich. Handshakes. Barry. Hugs. Oh, well, time's up, and I think we've got the, uh, the list made up here. Things you associate with a reunion. We have hellos. Was that huckleberry pies? Yeah. All right. That's North Dakota, I guess. Yeah. And uh, hop. What, who said hop? What does that mean, Jason? It's uh, at a sock hop or the hop. Oh, at a, a hop. Or a I, said, are you, I got you. I get you. I'm yeah. old enough to. At, <laughs> at the hop. Got gotcha. you. Handshakes, hugs, and hollowness. Ladies, there are, some of them are a little far out, but they sort of make sense. Yeah, they do. They make sense. I think they make sense. Grudgingly, they, I think they're going to let you have it, guys, yeah. all right? Yeah. You can go to the celebrity board in a moment. We'll give you women the same category this time, only it's things you associate with the reunion beginning with the letter P. Go. Robin. People. Uh, Tracy. Parents. Robin. Prizes. Paula. Pictures. Celeste. Pizza. Robin. Pastry. Tracy. All right, we got them. Things you associate with the reunion. You got them all in the last three seconds, I think. Let, let me uh, run the list. We have people, parents, prizes, pictures, pizza, and pastry. Gentlemen, all things you find at a reunion? Look good. Sounds good to me. All right, the score is 19 to 17. That means the men are behind, so they'll go to the celebrity board with Lou, Angela, Mark, Jill, and Richard. And Rich, it's your pick. Uh, let's go with Lou. Lou Rawls, what do you associate with a reunion beginning with the letter H? Thing that you would expect to see at a reunion. Well, that covers quite a bit of ground, but I guess you would say handshakes. Yep, afraid that's on the list. That was a costly one. Barry? Uh, I think I'll go with Jill. Jill, what do you associate with a reunion? The word I associate with high school reunion, hugs. Oh, boy. Mm. Not good news, Alan. Uh, I'll go with Angela. Angela Watson. Reunion. Letter H. The things that I associate with a reunion would be happiness. All right, we got one. Jason, things are looking up. <laughs> yeah. Mark or Richard? Uh, let's go with Richard. Richard Klein, tell us about reunion things beginning with H. When I think of uh, reunions, besides be thinking about being bored out of my mind, I think about... High school. All right, we've got two to the four. It makes the score 19 to 17. Ladies, you're still ahead. Uh, you could lose, however. You need two new answers. It will guarantee a win if you get two answers. Robin, where do you want to start? Call me superstitious, but I'm going to go with Mark. <laughs> Has Mark been particularly good? Yes, very good. Every yeah. time? Yes. All right. These are things you associate with a reunion, and there are the women's answers being posted. You hope he doesn't say any of those, and you need two answers to win. Mark? Oh, it's just so nice to go to your high school reunion because it reminds you of your past. All right, there's one. Celeste, you've got to do the same thing. Pick somebody who doesn't say what you folks have listed. This is the win. I'm going to go with little Angela again. I know she might say one of them, but, like, who knows? Well, let's see. You know? Think about it. How, what, are you, what are you supposed to do? Is she is still in her teens, is she? It's hard to tell with kids these days. I know. You don't know. Who knows? I, I, she looks kind of like a teenager. If she's in her know. 20s, that's a compliment. All right. People, parents, prizes, pictures, pizza, and pastry. What is she going to say when she thinks of a reunion? If it's not on that list, you ladies have won it. The thing I associate with a reunion would be pals. Pals! All right. You've got it. It's a runaway gentleman. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Now, let's see. You've got $5,800 in a moment. 
We're going to add more, hopefully, right after this bonus round. I've heard you liquid detergents are doing a great job. What are you doing in the laundry room? Heard the news? I can help you guys clean better. Look at these smelly, dirty socks. I'll wash this sock in one of you liquid detergents, this one in the same detergent, plus arm and hammer baking soda. You know how well I clean and deodorize. Compare. My sock looks cleaner, smells fresher, too. For a cleaner, fresher wash, use me with your liquid. Half a cup is all you need. Thank goodness for even flow stronger disposable bottles. Yippee! Only even flow disposables are double sealed to help prevent leaks. And they fit all nursers. Even flow disposables take the bumps without breaking. Hey, Mom! Even flow stronger disposable bottles. I believe I've fallen for a fat-free pudding. You made me love you. You did, you made me do it. Jello free. Uba Jello could make a fat-free pudding snack taste so great. Give me, give me, give me, give me what I cry for. You know you got the kind of taste that I die for. Jello free pudding snacks. Totally delicious, totally fat-free. You know you made me love J.E. Ever wonder how all those kids you see on TV and in magazines got there? Ever think your child should be there too? Then talk with a talent scout at Showbiz Kids. We'll tell you if your child has what it takes to be a model, and if so, we'll help you put them there. Because at Showbiz Kids, our business is finding tomorrow's little stars today. For the talent center nearest you, call 1-800-487-SHOW. Folks are ready. We're ready. Lou is taking a little nap, or that, or he has a toothache. I don't know. We're going to put a, uh, a letter up with all of our celebrities. They will then uh, stand by for a second. You'll come up with a couple of answers. They will then respond. If after it's all said and done, you can hold on to three of those screens, you'll pick up an additional $5,000. That's a nice ring to it. $5,000. All right. 25 seconds to do all of this, so, uh, you know, get stuff together. These are things that put people in a bad mood. Things that put people in a bad mood. We'll start with Lou Rawls. As soon as his letter pops up, raise your hand. Let me call on you. Right, here's Lou Rawls, and the letter is B. Robin. Boyfriend. Celeste. Mm -hmm. Next letter, Angela. Letter. Stop, stop, stop. T, go ahead. Robin. Teacher. Uh, again, Celeste. Temper. Paula, give me another Temper one. Temper tantrum. All right. Mark C. Robin. Coach. Tracy. Crying. Jill, letter. P. Yes. Parents. Celeste. Pollution. Richard, letter. R. Robin. Oh. Anybody else? Retirement Celeste. House. Rent. I'm sorry, we missed rent. The buzzer came in. The beeper came in. Sorry about that. Uh, we had a little uh, touch of confusion, but they added time to the end to make up for it. You don't have to worry about that. We had a little slow rising C, was it, or something? Then we had a double call. Was it a B or whatever? The words are all fine, but you move too quickly off the B. They need five more seconds to go. Oh, ahead. that's what they're talking about, the B. That's my mistake. Can we, uh, you're going to give them five seconds more? See, right. what I do is foul it up and you, you fix it for me, all right? All right, uh, I'll start you right now and give me, uh, what is it, things that put people in a bad mood? Beginning with the letter B and go. Yes, Paula. Broken bones. Broken bones definitely puts you in a bad mood. All right. We got four of the screens up there. We didn't complete the R with Richard Klein, so we'll drop that one out. What we need, though, is three of these to walk out with the $5,000. Keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. Lou Rawls. Boyfriend and broken bones cause people to have bad moods. What do you say? Something that puts me in a bad mood is... A woman bitching all the time. God bless her. That's a winner. Yeah, God bless her. Angela Watson, what puts you in a bad mood? Hopefully it's not a teacher or temper. Here in Southern California, something that would put everyone in a bad mood would have to be traffic. Okay. 
Traffic is right. All right, ladies. It's hanging on this answer from Mark Summers from Family Double Dare. If he doesn't say coach, if he doesn't say crying, hang on to each other. You're about to win $5,000, we hope. He isn't going to say either one of those. You've got it. Mark? I'm not the outdoors type. You know what puts me in a bad mood? Camping. <laughs> $10,800 so far. We'll be right back. Don't go away. for a star and say cheers. Share the backstage joy and tears of America's favorite barroom bunch, the scandals, babies, and weddings you never saw on TV. Reach for a star to read what Marilyn Monroe thought about sex with Jack and Bobby Kennedy. At last, the startling truth from her private papers. And new tapes reveal how Princess Diana's boyfriend taught her to make love on the phone. Plus, Robert Reed's daughter speaks out for the first time since his tragic death about the Brady Bunch dad you never knew. Reach for a star. We're at the Huggies Open, where the competition has a wet diaper and is pretty teed off. Now it's Huggies' turn. With a revolutionary ultra-trim diaper, it quickly disperses wetness into super-absorbent materials that lock wetness away from the surface to keep skin drier than Pampers. And ultra-trim is nearly 50% thinner than Pampers, so it's comfortable for putting around. It's a hole-in-one for Huggies Ultra-Trim for the driest players on the diaper tour. $10,800 stove, here you come. No, she gets a refrigerator And now. a refrigerator. Yeah, right. What Maybe are you I'll guys excited about? It's her stove and her refrigerator. No. Oh. Congratulations, Robert, Celeste, Paula, Tracy. We'll do it again tomorrow when we'll yeah. add another $4,000 yeah. to the jackpot. So think good thoughts overnight. Get a good night's sleep. And we'll see you here on Scategories tomorrow on NBC. For now, Dick Clark. So long. The following company is paid a fee for product promotion. Tetley Round Tea Bags, with more tea per bag and more taste for tea. But why is it round? All departing contestants will receive Bushnell's InstaVision Focus-Free Binoculars. Designed with a sport grip hand strap for convenience and style. Brings the sports fan to the action, furnished by Bushnell. And departing contestants will also receive the Scategories Board Game.